What's going on, Fluff fam? Back with another legendary vlog. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be playing with that like every video now. So if it pisses you off, I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, man, we gonna. Well, I'm by myself. Ooh, Team Daddy Fluff by himself, right? So, um, we actually got some shirts. We actually got some shirts made um, at this place. So, well, I got one done for the YouTube, and, she, and I got her one done for her business, you know. So, I told her, I was like, man, like, it's it's getting it's getting kind of ridiculous, you know. But more of these other businesses, you know, on our YouTube channel or on Instagram, or whatever like that, if we take a selfie and stuff like that. So it's honestly better if, you know, we, if, if we support ourselves or well, promote ourselves on our own channel. So I was like, yo, this is something that we really need to do because, you know, I'm pumping out enough videos that is being seen all the time. Not saying that people are buying my clothes, but I don't want to represent anybody that's not paying me to represent them. So. I'm just gonna represent myself. So my new shirt is pretty dope. It's her brand. We uh, we got somebody off Etsy to make her logo and everything like that to put her stuff together. Me, I found some stuff online. I seen uh, talked to the dude. I said put two and two in together. a quarter mile. Yeah. Turn left onto East Yukon Street. I was like, I told him I put two and two together. He did it for me. So hey, you know, we about to walk through here. You about to see it. Uh, he opens up at nine o'clock. I got to bring on my shirt because he didn't have my size shirt that I needed. But I mean, it's all right, you know, because I know what kind of shirts I wanted to wear anyways, because, you know, when you get shirts from these major places, sometimes they don't be fitting good. Well, not that they don't be fitting good. They just don't be that good of quality because they done bought them in bulk. So it's all right. I'm about to get this. Y'all about to see it. So, hey, let's go. like a fancy cutter? Yep, it's a printer and a cutter actually. Wow. That's only a printer, but this is a printer and a That thing's putting out some heat right there. It's got it's infrared, it's right infrared. Is it? It's coming out ready to print, ready to apply and laminate. Oh, okay, so it's already dry. Yeah, this one here has to cure. It's mm. got a heating bed on it, and a printer on it. How much is this printer? 5,000, 10,000? That's exactly what I bought for 5,000 that I bought it used. And it was Did you? This one's 16 something. You bought it from somebody, or you? Or, I, bought, you I bought this one brand new. Did you? Yeah. Man. It's a year old. Oh, brother, I this can't one hear here, that. This one here is what I'm This one? Yeah, so went in there to go get the uh, drop my shirt off, everything like that. The guy was pretty cool though. He allowed me to uh, uh, record some of the footage in there because you know I know people like to see a little B-roll and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see if I can make it look nice and cool, whatever like that. It's kind of a small little setup, man, but you know he makes it work, man. Like I think he's had like two different locations so far, and I think he's been doing this for quite a few years, like. It's going on like seven, eight years, maybe a little bit longer on that. Don't quote me on that, but he's a real nice dude. You know, I like to deal with local people, man, because, you know, because the money go back into the company, you know. 
You can go order off Vistaprint and that money go where? Europe. <laughs> you know, I like to shop with local people, but the guy seemed real cool. He seems nice or whatever like that. Like I said, I didn't pay too much, you know, for the shirts. It's a lot more different than back home, though, in Fayetteville. Man, you can go down to the flea market and go get these shirts made for, you know, dirt cheap and stuff like that. So that does kind of suck. But in a city where everything else is expensive, I guess you just think that the, just think that the cost will just trickle down a little bit. So, uh... Yeah, that's what's going on. I'm going to get it back a little bit later on today, and I'll be able to show you guys what it looked like. But, you know, I'm just kind of just vlogging what's going on. And uh, really, that's that. I got to run inside the store for Anna. Uh, got to go inside of this neighborhood Walmart. Boy, I'm over here in the hoodie hood, bro. Like, you know, feel like I'm back on the Merc again. You know? Everybody said, dang, Fluff. You done moved to Florida and it became a white man. I'm like, boop, you dang right, brother. Hell, you know, you dang right, you know. Because, uh, man, heck no, nah, bro. Yo, I didn't leave the state to go move into another hood. I didn't leave the freaking state to go move into another you know, uh, low income area and stuff like that. Now, some of these businesses, they be in like these are little unfortunate buildings and stuff like that, but it don't really be that big of a deal. It don't be their fault, you know. It's just the cost of rent on these businesses is stupid high. So, let me get this stuff in here and I'll come back. Y'all want to see what she made me go in the store to go get? <laughs> let me make this a, let me make this a thumbnail. <laughs> Yo. She definitely made me go do that. So it was funny though, because I'm telling you, like everybody I walked over there like looking. The lady was like Oh, what are you looking for? Well, they say anything super. <laughs> so, so I will be reading this stuff, but I just had to go through testaments a little bit more. She told me what she wanted, and you know, I guess they changed the way the box looked because I never seen a box like that before. We usually, uh, well, she usually coupons for them, so. This is the first time I really, really ever had to go buy any because she normally coupons for them. But since I told her she needed to stop couponing because we had too much stuff, I had to buy it this time. But it's all right because, yo, y'all don't know, yo. She's addicted to couponing, yo. We had so much stuff in there. Yo, you could barely close the coupon closet. Like, seriously, you could barely close it. And um, I was just like, man, like, babe, like, it's you know, we 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 need to we need to slow down on this. This is this is too much. But it's all right though. You know, probably get us some breakfast though. It's still early morning. Like I crawl out of bed at eight o'clock this morning to go handle all this stuff. So we got this stuff going on. We got some up. Does the camera blurry? I don't know if that fix or not. We got this going on. You know, we're about to go do the festival thing tonight. Hopefully we like that. I got some coins or whatever like that to go spend out there. We ain't gonna spend too much money though. Like our limit is probably gonna be like I don't know. What a hundred a hundred dollars? Is that a good limit? I don't know. I guess a hundred dollars is a good limit. I don't know what a good limit is. We'll see. You know. I ain't gonna be swipe, swipe, swiping it too much, man, because I'm telling you right now, these fares, um, that place ain't meant for you to get full unless you go get you a big old turkey leg or something like that. But you're not going to get full there. You know, you go there and, and, and to go out there and just go try stuff, you know. This, you know, this stuff that you wouldn't regularly try, you know. But, so, you guys going to see that later on. You guys going to see that shirt. And when I get the shirt, I'll probably put that in this vlog 
and end this one out and then I'll start the new family one tonight.